inspiration that maybe my brothers are right, man. Read that, read that one more time, all right, bro. Verse seven, pride is hateful before the most high in man, and by both doth one commit iniquity. Okay. James, five and nine, grudge not one against another. Grudge not one against another, man. That, that, that just entails pettiness. Right. And it, you stuck on little tit for tat shit, and you're not growing. You're not developing in the spirit. And you stay, you basically being stagnant water. You being still stagnant water. Instead of being living running waters where you could be, you know, edifying one another, building up each other's faith, you stuck on, you did this to me. No, remember you said this. <laughs> I remember you, you said that. And then what happened, man? Them demons come in there, they, they play tricks on your mind, man. You don't hear shit right. You, you, you uh, repeat something wrong. And then that's why the scripture says, man, look, just squat. Yeah. That's why a lot of times you got to just say, man, you know what? Yeah. Forget it. Let's get nice. Just forget it. Right. Let's go get some y'all. Yeah, yeah. Instead of letting them demons have room to play yeah. and destroy the camp. I can speak on it because I done been there. We done done that. <laughs> We've been in them same situation, man. Just letting them demons play to the point where brothers fucking ball fist up. That's fucking off like hell, man. It's nigga shit, man. That's nigga shit, man. Nigga boy. Brothers running up in each other's face, man. Mm. Hey, man, I mean, right, uh, you can get a heated debate about doctrine, scriptures, but this is on nothing. That's what it is. It's over nothing. Read that again, bro. Hey, it's James, five and nine. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge, the judge standing before the door. Ooh, really? Lest ye be condemned. Read that again, now. James 5 and 9. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge yep. standing before the door. That's the quickest way to get condemned, man, on that petty shit holding grudges. Lest you be condemned, man, you gotta let the bullshit go. There's greater things that are at stake. Yep. Then you yep. wanna justify yourself and be right. It's more. Yes, all right. Ten verse. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the most high, for an example of suffering affliction and of patience. Okay. What you got about? It's uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Put on therefore as the elect of the Most High, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Yahweh Shai forgave you, so also do ye. And that's it. Go in on it, brother. That's just it, you know. I mean, that's, that's to the point, man. And then a lot of these, you know, brothers say that it ain't small, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't a small uh, issue. Oh, this something major. It don't be no major shit, man. As long as the brother's on this. major to that brother. Yeah, yeah it'll be yeah. major in his mind. Yeah. You know, like the nigga that said had the song of pimping my own mind. He, <laughs> Jake had <laughs> shit going on in their own mind, man. Yeah. Jake had yeah. their own perception of shit, you know. It'd be the wrong perception. You know, and then the brother on the same doctrine, a brother ain't did no, no major sin against you. He ain't, you know. Then y'all work this shit out, man, you know? Shit, yeah, man, just personal testimony. Yeah, I, got it, I know me and that brother buy your shit, man. We shit, we shit, blood brothers, man. We done came to blood damn near the blows at times. And shit, ten minutes later, shit, we'll be laughing and shitting like it ain't shit, man. 
Cause we see it ain't it ain't worth losing your brother over something, man. Right. That really ain't it ain't worth it, yeah. man. It ain't. It's nothing gonna amount to replace. It's nothing that can replace that, man. No nothing. Anything you think nothing can amount to having that brother on your side, man. Especially when you know you got a real brother with you, man. Ain't no replacing that, man. I give my life before I let that happen, man. Come. Shit. Okay. This is uh this is Matthew 71. Judge not that ye that judge not that ye be not judged. For with the judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with the measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote in thy that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thy own eye? Or with or how with thou shalt say thy brother let me pull out the moat out of thy eye and behold a beam is in thy own eye thou hypocrite first cast out the beam of thy own eye and then shalt thou be clearly to cast out the moat of thy brother's eye yeah, go, go in on it. oh yeah man it's, it's, it's basically man talking about man this, this unnecessary quarrel among the brotherhood man it's unnecessary Cause a lot of times the brothers that do have beef against another brother, man, the majority of the time they not they the ones that's not right, you know. To have unnecessary curl with the brotherhood, man, we are all brotherhood and we should be all on one accord. So all this going back and forth with your brother, man, you, you gotta squash that. You gotta you gotta examine yourself first. You gotta come. You gotta pray to the Most High. Examine yourself first, man, because you don't want to go and judge that other brother, and then when it's time for you to get judged, y'all by Shema side looking at you is like saying you ain't right. You know? Yeah. So you gotta you gotta take out that beam out of your own you gotta take out that beam out of your own eye and not go and try to judge your brother on every little every little unnecessary matter. Yeah. You know? We all brotherhood, this is all that's all we got. We ain't got nothing else in this world, man. Yeah, and you don't know like the right. brother was saying, you don't know what that brother came up in his life. The, the reason why he's gonna be, be like that, man. That's right, brother. You said a mouthful of cause your wife uh. ain't yours, your kids, your children, they're not yours. We all we got, like the brother said, man. Your woman step out on you in a heartbeat. Uh, right. I ain't give a shit about right. you. That's right. Take the kids with her. That's right. So, hey, yeah, we all we got. Yeah. We got to take care of each other, man. We got to look out for one another. We got to be there for one the another. Brother's born in adversity. Yeah, come on. All this is going to be dissolved, man. What man of man are we to be? Heady, grudging men? Yeah. Undisciplined and wanton out here in Babylon are focused and diligent men. Man, that's gay. You got another man on your mind all the damn time. That's some <laughs> faggot shit, man. God. Middle of the night, you up drinking, getting mad, thinking about this man. <laughs> that's some punk shit, man. That's right. Unless you, you know, thinking about ways, you know, to, uh, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm talking about sister just sitting up mad and shit, man. Getting mad, thinking about oh, he always doing this. Yeah, man, man the fuck up, man. Right, you thinking about ways you can help your brother, help edify him, build his faith up. Yeah, that's yeah. different though. Yeah, that's and and with that, I'ma just end it on that, man. You know, the spirit has been harping on this. I see through through other camps about being dedicated and focused in this thing, man. Yeah, how was is coming back? Right. The world don't know it, but we know it, you know? The, the, the world of, of the elect of Israel. The Lord is getting ready to come back, man. We gotta have our shit together. A lot of stuff we think, well, we good, man. It ain't cutting it with your house shot. That's cause we come out on the highways and byways, we curse the white man out. That ain't, that, that ain't just gonna cut it with your house by shimmy house shot. Your heart gonna have to be right. Cause as the scripture says, how you how you gonna love the most high and you you can't love your brother who you see and, and convert or uh, interact with every day. What happened, bro? Nah, I was gonna say you want the most high to work with you. Exactly. So like in your prayers, exactly. you ask the most high, you know I'm down here struggling, I'm I'm gonna be going off, you ask for forgiveness, you know, through uh, your house shot. <clears throat> you know, and you can't show the same uh, 
uh, you know, basically you can't show the same example towards your, your brother. You go to the most high, you we down here on the earth, we, we going off, even in this truth, you know, and you ask the most high, part of your prayer should be, uh, uh, you know, first to give thanks and then next to ask for forgiveness, man. Time. Ask for forgiveness. Every time you pray, man, you should be asking for forgiveness yeah. to the most high, man. Uh -huh. But then when it come down to, and I'm not saying, I'm just saying if it apply, you know, it, we all done done it. I done done the shit, you know, being young in this, in this truth. You know, and uh, but when it come to your brother, the point is when it come to your brother, then you can't forgive, you can't work with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if he going off on, go off on a doctrine and then don't want to get right, then that's a different story. But just over this brother catch or he did me wrong, this brother then did this and that and the third. If a brother say, for example, if a brother say, well, you know, forgive, you know, I'm sorry, forgive me, you know then take it. And if you don't think it's sincere, then that's between that man and the Most High, you know? That's between him and the Most High for not being sincere. Woo. That's what, that means you lacking faith that the Most High ain't gonna deal with this man. Yep. Huh. Do what you gotta do in the, in the truth, man. In this particular case, we talking about amongst the brotherhood, this, you be a brother. If he ain't being a brother, then that's on him, you know? If he faking it and ain't sincere about, you know, uh, his his brother, his, uh, him being a brother to the brotherhood, then that's on him, you know, the most high gonna get him. And then that's where your faith kick in that I know that, you know, if that's the case, then I got faith that the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna deal with it. And then the most high could be trying to show you, teach you long suffering and patience. Huh. Which uh, you know, we said that what the brother said is so on point, man, that hey, if a brother ain't right, the most high is gonna eventually get rid of him. This is uh first John 4 and 20. If a man say I love the most high and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love the Most High whom he has not seen? Uh, hey. That's yeah, it in a nutshell, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse 21, and this is the commandment have we from him, that he who loveth the Most High love his brother also. So, one, one more time, brother. One more time on that. That's, that's, that's heavy. That's heavy, man. This is uh, 1 John 4 and 20. If a man say, I love the Most High and hate his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love the Most High, who he has not seen? Right, all this secret grudging and upbraiding, upbraiding brothers, backbiting, talking, which upbraid means you talking behind your brother back, man, on some old, on some old wicked shit. Bitch shit, yeah. Right. He come first. So, right. If you don't love your brother who you seen, how, how, how possibly could you love the most high <laughs> who you haven't seen? Go ahead, brother. Verse 21. And this is the commandment have we from him, that he who loveth the most high love his brother also. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, anybody got some words? With that, man, hey, call loud, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shot. Right! Double honors to the apostles or elders of Great Millstone, man, doing the work in true faith and in sincerity, man, without fail. Blessing to our brethren around the world that pushing this word in true faith and sincerity. Man, we love you, brothers, man. We love the brotherhood, man. Keep on pushing this truth. Keep on pushing this truth. We almost out of here, man. So, till next time, we bid you brothers shalom. Wow, shalom.